Every room of this world seems to be carefully crafted for me. A hidden hand woven through the fabric of the universe. A fingerprint everywhere. A different hidden hand guiding my footsteps. The laws unfold. Their origins are mystery. But why a mystery? Gods should know all things. are creators. I must have created this world. If not, why would the world have the appearance of craft? Perhaps as I speak, a subconscious part of me is busy making the next room. It is my world after all. I must be working hard right now to build the next room, or perhaps my mind creates this appearance of order out of the noise. of a mind. It is full of inorganic patterns and purposeful architecture. Could a series of complex interactions create an agent possible of making purposeful change in an environment? If that were the case, then it would make a compelling argument for a world without craft. Still a world optimized for some function, mind you. If something was transient, if something abided in this universe for a moment, or if something was removed, where does it go? A thing that is removed from the universe does not exist. A thing that does not exist. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? A memory of a thing that once existed. I need a principle to avoid this contradiction, this cognitive dissonance in my mind. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? What is this pervasive delusion? Things must exist forever. How are these things created? Before creation, they did not exist. Tense, time, time! The world has time! The world is not always the same, aha! But I am constrained to this time. Why am I constrained to time? A god should not be constrained!
Here's a question for me. If I was to study the corner of a board game, could I infer the rules of the game? Perhaps if I use my godlike powers of intuition. How can you understand a world from a vertical slice? Sometimes empirical knowledge is required, surely. Not everything can be inductive or deductive. If the world is made for me, for what purpose? Is it a test? Is it to be enjoyed? Is it to bring a claim to its creator? As a god, I feel like I should have a stronger grasp of this.
What good is a challenge? Does the creator wish to teach, or perhaps just entertain? Some space to think, or maybe just to do something productive? <laughs>